Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you two concepts. The first one is the Google map and the second one is the bottom sheet. So when I was thinking about the use case to demonstrate both these I came up with an example where I could actually combine these two concepts and it really worked out very well. So here first let me show you the demonstration and then I'll show you how to implement this. So here I have a Google map page and it points to a particular location with a marker and when I click on the marker, you can see the bottom sheet popping up. So I have the Google map also implemented and I have the bottom sheet also included. So, and when I click outside the bottom sheet, it disappears. So first let, let me show you how to implement the Google map and then I'll show you how to include the bottom sheet. So to include this map, I've used the Flutter plugin, which is the Flutter map so you can find the details i'll add the link in the description so it's a very cool plugin where it displays um the map uh, with this i'm also using another map supplier which is the map box and it's free uh, for the first fifty thousand active users and then depending on your request and then it's being charged so make sure you read all these details before you uh, try to register one um, so when you uh, sign up, it's very simple. Just with an email address, when you sign up, you can create your access token. So make sure you keep your access token secure. And then we can start creating the Google Maps. So let me clear the template and make sure that um, I have an empty template so that I can start showing you how to start with the map first. So here I have a very simple empty, empty template with an app bar. And in the body section, I've used a Flutter map widget. And this one has another option called map option. And here you mention your latitude and longitude. In this, there are two places where you have to mention the detail. Say, for example, when you open the app for the first time, you have a particular map displayed. Say, for example, you want to display London, but you want to display a particular um, marker say for example it could be a coffee bar or a union station then that pointer has to be defined in another place which i'll show you in a couple of seconds so first thing mention the location latitude and longitude and then give a zoom factor uh, the, the higher you increase the more it gets zoomed so i'm giving 13 and then you give a layer which is the tile layer option and this is where you mention your access token which you have generated from your map box when you registered. So please keep it secure, do not share it, add your token here and then give an ID to it. Now after this, this is where now we start adding our ma marker. So the marker I'm using is a, a pin. So to define the marker, you need marker layer options. Okay. And then it contains an array of markers. So first I'm going to start with the marker layer option. And um, okay, it's marker layer options, not option. Okay, well, and then I'm going to define an array of markers. And inside this, it's another marker. And here I'm going to give the height and width of my marker. So I'm going to give a width of 80 and a an height of 80. Then I'm going to give the point. Remember in the previous, um, uh, I had mentioned this point that you have to give the latitude and longitude again. So this is where your marker will exactly point. So that is the latitude and longitude values that you have to provide. So I'm going to use the same values because I want to point out the same location. And uh, then you use your builder. Now you're going to give the icon. You're defining your icon. So for this, I'm going to give a context and a functional expression. And then inside this, I'm going to create a container. So this container holds my icon so that I when I click on it the bottom sheet opens 
So inside the container, I'm going to give an icon button. And make sure that whenever you give an icon button, you have to give on pressed so that my bottom sheet opens. At the moment, I'm going to leave it empty. First, let me create the icon button and then we will define the on press functionality. So I have an icon and um, which is a font awesome icon. So I'm just going to copy it. So it's a font awesome icon, which is of type map marker altitude. Um, and I've given a custom color with a size. So I'm going to build this so it will just display a Google map with the marker. And when I click on it, nothing will happen because I've not defined anything here. So let me quickly build this and I'll get back to you. So there you go. The application has built successfully. See the, um, you can see the map and the marker here. So I can move this map and but when I click on the marker, nothing happens because I have not defined anything inside the on press. So now let's define the on press, uh, which should show a bottom sheet. Now, uh, to talk about the bottom sheet, there are two types. One is the persistent bottom sheet and the model bottom sheet. Now I'm not going to concentrate about the detailed description about these model sheets. Um, maybe I can make up another video regarding it. So here I'm going to use a model sheet. So let's define that. And um, yeah, let's define that first. So it's going to be a show model bottom sheet. There you go. And it has two factors. One is the context and other is the builder. And this has to be a semicolon. So here I'm going to say context. And for the builder, I'm going to use another builder. Okay, there you go. And inside the builder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a container because uh, if you want to define your content, whatever you define inside your bottom sheet gets inside this point. So I'm going to say it's going to return a container and inside the container, I'm going to define uh, the color of the container white. And I'm going to add another child element, which is a text. Just for the demo purpose, I'm keeping it very simple just by defining a text. You can add images, you can add list view, you can add tables. You can definitely get crazy uh, with your ideas as to what you want to display when the bottom sheet opens. So at the moment, I'm just keeping it simple to the text. So I've added the text and uh, I've going to do a uh, build and we will see how the output looks so so the application has built successfully you can see the map and the marker and when I click on it there you go you see you can see the container which is white and the bottom sheet text and when I click outside it disappears so this is how you can create your, I mean, you can combine the Google Maps and the bottom sheet inside a single concept. And I'm going to show you a few more things about that. Yes. So, well, if you look at the demo application, I've had it, uh, details like uh, from the current location, it picks up the distance to the Union Station and it says it's like 25 minutes by car and it gives you a few more details about the particular uh, marker so it's not that you can just add marker um, I mean just not the details here you could add a list view say for example if this is a restaurant or a coffee bar and you want to add some reviews and pictures you can definitely do it and um, and this uh, adding of detail is never a constraint uh, you can expand this I'm also trying to plan to make more series about the Google Maps using the map box by adding more street views, adding more nearby location and to find the distance between um, one location to another one. So to find out what are the other places. So please do leave a comment if you want me to do any uh, video specific video related to this. And I'm also going to add a few more um, 
video series to this playlist and uh, yeah that's it so for this video uh, it's a very simple google map with a bottom sheet and uh, hope you like it if you find this video informative please do share it and like and subscribe thank you